What, what is the source of the high costs? As far as, I, as, far as we can tell, it, 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 there's labor, there's land, and there's yeah. energy. And, is there any, well, and I was wondering what you think can be done to reduce these costs from your perspective. In the last uh, eight to ten years, you have a huge uh, increase in the institutional landlords. What do you mean by institutional uh, landlords? Development of REITs, oh, yes. uh, you know, privatizing uh, state-owned uh, industry, uh, real estate into uh, private uh, holdings and then commercializing them. And uh, that has had some impact, in our opinion, in affecting rents. And uh, you have the uh, tightening of the labor market that has also driven up uh, wage costs. Uh, of course, you've got a uh, general increase in global commodity prices, energy costs that has contributed to, to the cost environment. But businesses have also spoken about, uh, you know, there are a lot of minor compliance costs in Singapore. This fee, that fee, and COE, and there are a lot of these little, little costs that adds up. <laughs> and they actually form part of this uh, uh, business environmental cost, right? Uh, and these are compliance costs in general. So, um, you know, when, when you look at all the, the costs, in essence, they've actually driven up uh, uh, costs for businesses and driven down margins. Uh, and very often we see that it's not that the businesses cannot get business from the marketplace. They can get businesses from the marketplace. But it's more because they can no longer hire labor as freely as they yeah. did before. So they, they can't go win that business over. Okay. So you, you kind of got uh, multiple yeah. pressures from different points in a, at the same time. If, I'm, I pay my, if I may ask the tax experts, <laughs> um, what, what, do you, what do you suggest to reduce these costs? businesses face? Yes, I mean if you look at the SMEs, the smaller um, uh, enterprises and the bigger um, um, multinational, the, the challenges that they are facing are different. Okay, a $5,000, a $10,000 kind of uh, uh, PIC bonus or a kind of a cash uh, payout right, could possibly mean quite a bit for small businesses. But for the bigger businesses, right, it may not be of any help at all. So I think that is a case uh, that in, from that perspective, uh, personally I feel that right, maybe for some of the incentives that we have, instead of having a broad based kind of uh, approach to all businesses in Singapore, maybe we can actually look into how we can cater right, a more liberal um, uh, 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 tax uh, incentive regime for the SMEs compared to the multinational because the needs are different. The dynamics are different altogether. So from that perspective, right, maybe we can actually help some of the um, small businesses to um, uh, overcome this uh, short term. What kind of tax incentives would you suggest for small businesses that are not there already? Okay, the one that could possibly uh, be the low lying fruits for the smaller enterprises are essentially the PIC scheme. Currently, you have 400% deduction. The question is that are we able to raise that 400% to 500% or maybe 600% for the smaller companies? And also the cash payout it could possibly be more liberal about that. And uh, I read in the papers that um, the uh, benefits that the small businesses are getting for those companies where by their turnover are less than a million dollars are substantially lower than the bigger enterprises. And that could possibly be because of the fact that some of the conditions may not be satisfied by the smaller companies. Like for example, you talk about cash payout, PSD uh, cash payout. You require at least three employees and a lot of smaller companies, right? The owner are the employees. Oh, okay. The owner are running the business. So if Is you're looking at three full-time employees, right, that could possibly be a challenge to a lot of uh, the smaller enterprises. Okay. So that's the part whereby I was thinking that if we can tweak the rules a bit to make it uh, easier and more accessible to the small business, I think that would help a lot.